Here we're asked to find the difference quotient. Here's how we solve this problem. What happens in this problem typically is that people have been working the difference quotient so much that they forgot how to handle it when you've got a constant. In this particular problem, here's what's happening. They ask us to find our tool, the difference quotient, set up like this, and f of x plus h tells us go to the original, replace every x that's in the original with a set of parentheses and x plus h. However, the original function we were given never had an x, so we don't have anything to replace. There are no x's, so f of x plus h is still 7. And then f of x is just the original. For the sake of safety, although it doesn't affect us here, you might want to throw some brackets or parentheses around this. It won't affect this problem, but other ones it certainly could. So it says subtract all of the original. As we go back and subtract all the original, we subtract 7. And of course, 7 minus 7 gives us 0. Divide by h. We're assuming h is not 0. And 0 divided by some other type of number ends up being 0. As simple as that. Hope you found this helpful. And I look forward to giving you some more helpful solutions in the future. Take care. Bye-bye.